Huge discovery that is making international headlines in prehistoric caves here in Israel. Clues have been uh, dug up and provided that humans actually date back as many as 500,000 years. A team led by anthropology professor from uh, Tel Aviv University found an intact jawbone and several teeth dating back 200,000 years. This whole pr this whole finding proves a new theory of evolution. This is a mouthful. Culture reporter Maya Margit here to talk about this exciting discovery. I'm literally like tongue-tied trying to spit all this right. out, but <laughs> fascinating, fascinating. I just can't believe how like every day there's another archeological finding that's just proving more things that like stump scientists up until now. It's like amazing, right? I think in Israel, it's one of the best places for archeology. span Everywhere you walk, you'll find something incredible. Uh, but this is interesting because they found this fossil in 2002 and it took them 15 years of intensive research research and testing and all kinds of scientific testing with a, an international team of scientists to find out what this was. And it was a jawbone complete with teeth, a human jawbone. So they had to test to see if it was actually a homo sapiens jawbone or something else. Mm -hmm. And they found out that it's a homo sapiens jawbone, uh, the earliest modern human outside of Africa from almost 200,000 years ago, between 170,000 to 200,000 years ago. And this changes basically the whole history of evolution. This is why this is such a big story. It was led by two different scientists, Professor Israel Hershkovitz of Tel Aviv University and Professor Mina Weinstein Evron of Haifa University. They jointly conducted this research at Misliya Cave, which is in the Western Galilee in Northern Israel. Mm -hmm. It's so fascinating because I mean, they've known these caves kind of date back to prehistoric times, but you know, we always thought that, you know, theories were that everything originally the human originated in Africa and they kind of had put a date very similar on to when the first human was so this kind of is like they're saying now that it's like the history of, of humans Neanderthals mixed with homo sapiens goes back like a half a million years now right this basically for the past 50 years scientists believe that humans came out of the cradle of civilization in Africa based on fossils found in Ethiopia uh, so they believe for the past 50 years that this happened about 150,000 years ago but since this jawbone was found outside of Africa it kind of changes that whole theory so now they're going to have to rewrite everything and it basically shows that also in Israel there were humans here a much longer time ago than was previously right, thought. Exactly. I Modern mean, we, humans, anyway. Right, exactly. I mean, we hear through the Torah and everything. I mean, this predates, you know, any any before religion period. You also, know, another thing anything. that's interesting is that it was mixed. It wasn't just Homo sapiens. It, they found some uh, genetic DNA of uh, Neanderthals. Right. So they're showing that the mixture between Neanderthals and homonyms, other homonyms, basically happened much earlier than thought, and that you know maybe the Homo sapiens were not you know, as pure as once. It's literally going to redefine everything that I remember learning as far back as seventh grade that exactly. I still am a nerd and remember. I remember learning all of this in seventh grade, but I mean, really is so interesting. And I'm sure it's going to only lead to more kind of discoveries and more proof kind of of the evolution of, of the human being, which is just beyond fascinating. Now you need to go. Of course. We got to work on this. All right. We got to set the story up, Maya. All right. Thank you very much. It's waiting for us. It's waiting for <laughs> us right there with your name. Welcome, Maya and Emily. All right. Uh,